Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Wow. Some of the most incredible things about the Philippines are two specific, very specific things. Karaoke and children who can nail the karaoke performances, right? And this is basically that. Yeah, uh, the reason why we swapped is uh, Bala's still recovering from the back and leaning over to the computer kind of hurts her back. <laughs> so I'm here for the time being. But this is something that's been sent to us a lot. And uh, I can presume why. I presume the level is going to be quite high. But uh, so. we've never seen any of this clip, so let's give it a watch. <laughs> Why? Wow, with a bang to it. Why do kids like? Why do they, they do stand this? like that? I have no little idea. One. You see a little one in the back. Yeah, You're like, like an old man. I have really no. I literally have no idea for this it. This kid but is anchoring like that. Kid like a... is anchored and he's got so much color, and so much voice behind that little body. Yeah. It's gonna grow. That puberty is gonna hit him, and it's gonna grow into one of the most silky super seductive voices ever because he's already got body enough oh Damn, what kid. a treat <laughs> of course everyone's like yeah just kids playing You know what? Dude, 10 out of 10. What? It's, it's actually dumb. Like, if people don't understand, no. like, sometimes I see other people sort of, uh, I, I show them to other people. You see, like, on YouTube all over the place, right? Um, people kind of watch this stuff, and then it's like, wow, that's amazing. It's like, nah, dog. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, it's stupid. It, it shouldn't happen. And then the, the funny thing is, as well, it's like, if, say, you're from the Philippines, or say, perhaps you're from Asia, like, uh, these countries where like karaoke is quite quite popular, yes. um, and this happens. This is a form of play. This is a form of um, of uh, I, I don't know entertainment. What... Yeah. Like it's 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 just ch children's play. Yeah, um, you would think that this is quite normal, but the, and and maybe even yeah, like it doesn't even call your attention that much. But this is fucking ridiculous because no, the it's technique very tough. that the kids are showing and their ability to uh, adapt, uh, recognize. Uh, start, cre you know, start having Replicate. creative liberties. Yeah, and also take a stylistic choices. That's a very mature the best way to learn. Again, there, there, there is a point where the kids become become really good at emulating. Yes. But from emulation to adding stylistic choices, that's a different. Uh, that's a completely different ball game. Yep, like yep. you could, you could um, model yourself for a, for a specific singer, like something like you have heard for a, a really long time people that have that extraordinary talent where they can replicate things, but to add your own stylistic choice to, uh, on top of that? Yeah, that? That's becoming an artist. Mm. That's generally what becoming an artist is. Correct. You know? They're doing it from such a young age. Next one. Oh, it's like no. Ed Chernan, but tiny. It's Ed Chernan Pang Parito. <laughs> Chiquitico. <laughs> what? But that's not set to modulation. to modulate and, and how to um, uh, uh, create there, inflection and translate his emotions through, through songs. songs. Fuck, dude. The, listen, you get specific modules in university yeah, ridiculous. to do that. And not only, but also his brilliant modulation in the falsetto. It's such a great tender take. 
Oh, can we just... How? I just don't understand how. But I'm telling you this, dude. This is the best way to learn. It's this. But it, I just don't get it. Like, I, I'm going to flip into my Spanish thing. Like, it nearly came out. It's just, oh, just how? Yeah. I mental. I... I mean, some of the some of the answers, bloody hell, this kid is ready to party. <laughs> like, oh, oh my second, god! No, on these second. are superstars. I'm sorry. This is, this is what's intriguing as well. We, we've this obviously we've now uh, learned a little bit more about the actual nature of the Philippines and the, how things come to be. Um, it does seem due to the nature of the language. Uh, if, if you study linguistics in Tagalog. Um, there seems to be a bizarre connection between people who are able to uh, 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 speak Tagalog or even other dialects from the Philippines and their ability to emulate sounds and their ability to emulate uh, 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 other speech, other styles of, of, of um, what would you call it? Even other languages, they're able to pick up things a bit faster. We believe it's probably due to the nature of is the, 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 well, the twang is quite high, right? Therefore, yeah. you learn how to what would you call modulate twang to a certain extent well it's natural so instead of being taught it's a, it's it's a perk that comes natural to 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 the people also similar to what happens in latin american spanish so in, in the latin american continent you have a lot of that high twang situation the the voice sits higher the larynx sits higher so there are certain things that get amplified so uh when whenever you get put in like a moment of of difficulty when singing for example trying to reach really low notes or trying to find a good balance in the high note in in a belt position you tend to naturally switch to something that feels normal and that normal setting would be the high twang and i think it's it's it, it plays it to such accessible. a great and it plays to such a great advantage it, when utilized correctly. And I think, obviously, given the fact that singing is such a norm in the Philippines, the the perk of having really high natural twang it translates so well into singing. And the second thing is, the Philippines is a to a certain extent a, a very big melting pot due to the the involvement of both you know the U.S. and the the colonization of of the the Spanish Empire. Um, the in US Japan. in terms of armies and stuff like that, the military, Japan. Um, so they they listen to music from all over the world and a lot of the classics from the US have been heard so a lot of people emulate those sounds. Then they therefore, when they do it from such a young age, they start developing uh, a lot of larynx flexibility. Then therefore they can do those stuff, stuff like Doble Cara, like Marcelito Pomo is very famous for. But also that's a bunch of menaces in the, in the still, Philippines. It's still, it's mind, it's mind boggling to me because all of this technique and all of this jargon that we're spitting right now, it goes out the window where you see kids this big. See this little one. Freaking murdering songs that are impossible. But... Absolute menace that You kid. see that all the jargon, all the understanding of technique just goes out the window. Yep. Gonna 
can I just say that is oh, actually that's actually brilliant practicing belting technique. Really? But yes. Shut yes. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No it way. Is. Yeah, because the gravity is that same as like is that the same as being in the water? Yes. That well, in the water you have the extra pressure of the uh, of the uh, of the of the uh, yeah that you're you're working through your breath control because of the the change of density. But in the in in laying down practicing belt is the, that's the reason why she sounds so clear. Not that she could not deal with so it. So when she stands up, will she be better? Yes, this is actually this is actually fantastic, brilliant stamina technique as well. Because when you're laying down like that. There's no other way but to pull back into the notes. So like your whole back and your whole tummy muscle area, it's 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 anchoring in the right way. So there's no extra tension coming through the front of the tummy. There's no way of like trying to pull into a weird or pulling the leg into a, a difficult position. If you look at her, her spine is completely stable. So the further back she goes into the belt, the further she drops her chin into her chest. So the airflow is completely continuous. There is no disrupt uh, disruption of the airflow. How the so fuck the whole, these kids find this out? They don't. They don't. They understand that it's easy. It's easier than doing it standing That's up. That's your mental. Yeah. It, it, it is. It, again, it's, it's part of the experimentation process that we, we here get taught that. <laughs> But, uh, and it's actually how a lot of kids actually learn to belt, just laying down on the floor to understand what muscles need to be anchored and which ones need to be relaxed. And because you're laying down, there's no space for the tummy muscles to engage. There's no reason for it because your body weight isn't shifting right. in any way. So this completely relaxed. So your whole abdominal wall is creating the biggest freedom so that you can anchor towards the back. And the gravity is actually pulling you down too. Class. So yeah, what you're, nice, you're naturally a, anchoring. What a nice be a knowledge. Let's go to the mall, shall we? Let's go to the mall. Let's go, indeed. <laughs> I really like these videos a lot. Oh. Obviously, the technical aspect of things, fine. Uh, and trying to figure out how this happens and why it happens more in the Philippines than in other, other parts of the world. But to me, what makes it special is this. This little kid has found the, the karaoke machine. Maybe they're bored or whatever. Maybe the mom probably encouraged him to go and sing um, in exchange for cash. Um, <laughs> but his little matey, brother, cousin, friend from school, it sat there with him. In, and not to judge him, but no, 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 to support him because this is just what everyone does Correct. and this is normal. And that type of encouragement to me, it's fucking so heartwarming because... It's priceless. Growing up in the, I guess, performing and stuff like that, we saw so many little ones get discouraged by other little ones because mm. the, the little ones are brutal. <laughs> your kids are fucking, they go for your throat. They, they, they just got no filter. Yeah, and we saw so many teenagers then get even more discouraged. I mean, you were close to this when in, in, in your school. So many teenagers like discouraging other little ones and other teenagers that are along the same age as them. Um, just for the sake of, I don't know why, it could have been jealousy, it could have been they're envious, it could have been, it, it's just not culturally the thing to that's do. Right, that's right. Um, say you was, were to sing in a classroom, it, you would you would should be afraid of judgment because it's probably going to happen. Um, you should just build thick skin and be willing to do it. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines, it's the encouraged. judgment is different. It's not judgment of, oh, she's singing. How, what a weirdo. It's, uh, oh, I think I'm going to sing next. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Or I think, oh, what other song do we know? Or I wonder if she'll be able to sing this song. It is a different nature. And uh, that's something that I think we can all learn from a country like the Philippines when it comes to the reinforcement of arts. And again, I think the more the Philippines develops, both economically and with arts and stuff like that, I think people will really start to take notice from all over the world. I think so too. And I think it's like... It, 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 Not just in Asia, but here in the West as well. It's such a beautiful thing. I do... It, it, these videos always get me quite emotional because they're that's the... That's the perfect uh, judgment-free environment that you need to grow uh, in many aspects in life that go beyond just singing. At the know? start, at some point, there yeah. needs to be criticism. There needs oh, to be definitely. ruthless, cutthroat feedback. Yes, that's true, but not at this stage. This isn't the stage for that. 
This That's is the right. stage where you crush the seed before it even has a chance to grow. That's right. You actually need to nourish it. This is the this is the stage in the, in life where you actually need encouragement from from the the the, the surrounding environment. <laughs> Experimentation. This is literally what. Yeah, it's, it's experimenting. It's being free. It's being a child. <laughs> I hear that part. And it's actually it's, it's put on. Yeah, who the fuck told Arena Grande like, to do that? Like, that's what? not Arena Grande. That's Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. That's it. Well, oh, because the one I'm familiar with is the one Arena Grande covered. But it's did, did she cover that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, possibly. Uh, it went viral on. Um, she did it like on a live show. <laughs> so that's where she took it from. I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know it's it was Mariah Carey. That's Mariah. close. Anyways. Well, there you have it. Let us know what you guys thought about this. And if there are other videos that you'd like us to review, we'll be more than happy to do so. And uh, goodbye. Goodbye.